Claudius Turks Laertes, the son of the Lord Chamberlain Polonius, Laertes expresses his desire to return to France, where he was staying before his return to Denmark for Claudius' coronation. Polonius gives his son permission, and Claudius jovially, jovially, jovially grants Laertes his consent as well. Turning to Hamlet, Claudius says, Hamlet, my son. A little more than him and less than him. How is it that the clouds still hang on you? Not so, my lord. I am too much in the sun. Good, Hamlet. Cast thy night color off, and let thine eye look like the friend on Denmark. Do not forever seek for thy noble father. All that lives must die, passing through nature to eternity. Aye. <laughs> Why seems it so particular with thee? It is. I know not seems. No, nor the fruitful river in the eye, nor the dejected figure of the visage, together with all forms that can denote me truly. They are actions that a man might play, but I have the trappings and suits of woe. Tis sweet Hamlet, to give these morning duties to your father, but your father a lost father. That father lost his, and the survivor bound in filial obligation, but to persevere is a course of unmanly grief. It shows a mind impatient, for what we know is as common as any of the most vulgar thing. Why should we take it to heart? Fee! Tis a fault to heaven, <laughs> to reason most absurd, whose common theme is death of fathers, and who still hath cried. From the first course, from the first course, throw this unprevailing woe and think of us as a father. For let the world take note, you are the most immediate to our throne, than that which dearest father bears his son. Do I impart toward you? Then what? And that which dear's father bears his son do I impart toward you. For your intent in going back to school in Wittenberg is the most retrograde to our desire. Remain here in our eye. Hamlet, go not to Wittenberg. I shall obey you. Be as ourself in Denmark, this accord of Hamlet, and grace whereof drinks today. Come away. How weary that it should come to this. But two months dead? Nay, not so much, not too, so excellent a king, so loving to my mother. Must I remember why she would hang on him? Yet within a month, like you not think on it, freely thy name is woman. A little month, or ere those shoes were old, with which she followed my poor father's body. Why she, even she, O oh God, a beast that wants to discourse of reason, would have mourned longer. Married with my uncle, my father's brother, within a month. Ere yet the tears have left her eyes, she married. O oh, most wicked speed, to post with such dexterity to incestuous sheets. It is not, nor it cannot come to good, but I must hold my tongue. Okay, well, quiet,